Yo, what's up guys, Maverick here and welcome back to your week daily dosage of Draft to Glory. Now, you guys seem to enjoy the last episode which was the best possible team where I picked the team on what I liked and what I enjoyed and I actually managed to win the draft. I feel like I'd win the draft more when I pick teams that way. But So what we're going to do is we're going to do just a normal kind of draft this episode. We're just going to pick obviously what I like again and obviously we're going to go for chemistry and stuff this time but I'm going to think about it more towards the players I like. Anyway, I also need your guys' help. Social media, we need to grow them. We need to be more interactive. I want to talk to you guys about things outside of videos and stuff like that. So make sure you follow my Instagram, Twitter, um, and if you want Snapchat as well. But guys, I'm going to follow every week. I'm going to follow a couple of you back that do follow during that week. So make sure you head over to Instagram and follow. Make sure you head over to Twitter and follow. And if you really want to make sure your chances are good, I'm not saying I'm going to pick favourites. I might a little. I'm not saying I am, but I might. Then make sure that you send me a picture or some proof that you did follow me that week. I will have ways of finding out, but like I said, it couldn't hurt your chances. Where we're at at the moment is 104 thousand coins as you can see 39 wins 13 losses so again draft is going well i mean as long as we can stay in and around the 100k mark minimum i want to start really i mean it's not my choice it's pack weight isn't it but i really want to start packing player after player after player which gives us profit after profit after profit let's go into the formation and the formation that i am gonna pick i'm gonna go 433 holding false nine i don't think is gonna work for me at all um, and the other ones I do not like at all. Four triple two, I'm awful with. So four three three holding is what I'm going to go for. Now, captain ninety four Ronaldo. I'm going to have to take him because the other options are just diabolical. I mean, really, no, nah, I'm not going to take any of the others. Left wing, can we get a Douglas Costa? No, but we can get a Thierry Henry, which is fantastic. Obviously, I love Neymar, but there are better versions of Neymar. So I'm going to go for Thierry Henry on that left wing slot. No, 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 no. Castillejo. I probably said that so wrong. My Spanish pronunciation is awful. Yeah, apologies to the new Spanish community that have followed. But como estas? Who could we get here to really, really help us out? Um, now, that definitely helps us out. Bentacur is fantastic in this game as well. So I'm going to go for him. Kante. Now, I'm going to take Kante just because he would actually work out very well in the CDM slot if we don't get any other amazing options. So I'm going to go Kante there. I'm going to switch them around. Um, now, we've got Bentacur and Kante. And CDM, we have been absolutely stiffed. Uh, what I'm going to go for here is... I'm going to go for Parolo. No, 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 no. Uh, we can get Bailly, though, who does work for chemistry with Kante. Um, Ogbonna works chemistry if we had an Italian left back, but we don't. So what I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for Eric Bailly, just because he's really, really good. Now, right centre back. Can we at least get someone from Chelsea, then? We can't, but we can get Lindelof. After United have just knocked PSG out. By the way, PSG fans... Nah, 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 nah. But no, that was very fortunate. Never a penalty, let's be honest about it. Goalkeeper, we are going to go for Sergio Romero. This isn't looking like a great draft, I'm going to be honest. But the reserves and subs can really pick up. So I'm going to go from the right to the left so that the reserves are what we pick first. Del Piero, George Best. That makes everything so much better. I'm going to go George Best because I prefer him. You guys know that. So George Best is absolutely getting picked. And then George Best is going in there. Boom, there we go. Ronaldo, George Best, and Henri. Ooh, Gareth Bale or Royce? I think I prefer Royce on this game. I know some people might be like, what are you talking about on that one? But I think I prefer him. Then we got Brozovic as well, though, who I who has got Shadow on. So what I could do is I could actually put him in. Um, no, what am I talking about? I'm taking Royce. I, uh, do you know what? I don't care about chemistry at this point. It's I'm taking Royce as a super sub. And this could be fantastic as well. Mbappe as another super sub. So we've got super sub central flying in here. Keep keep the big ones coming. Um, Here it doesn't really matter who we go. Because Matip and none of those players really help us out. Uh, so what I'm going to go is I'm going to go Ribery just for the rating. Mares, Messi. Like literally this is super sub central. Genuinely super sub central. So Messi it is. Oh, 
call Fred. Fred is actually really, really helpful. So I'm going to take Fred in that centre midfield slot because the rest, again, are woeful, so it doesn't really matter. Here we're going to go Valencia. Again, I'm just picking United players, so I'm still buzzing about last night. But you guys are seeing it two nights later, so yeah, it's not last night for you guys because this is going out Friday, but... And final two options, we need an Alexandro. We don't get an Alexandro, we do get a Mendy, who is French. Doesn't help though, he really doesn't help, but I love Mendy. And no one else here helps, so I'm just going to put Mendy. And finally, goalkeeper, please be a David De Gea. Fantastic, there we go. Bish, bash, bosh. The team is looking pretty good. And then I think we can put Fred in uh, there. Uh, move them around. We've got 100 chemistry. Now, if I did this... And then this, that doesn't change much either. But yeah, we're going to do that. So we've got 100 chemistry as it stands. Kante's on 7, which isn't the end of the world. Ben Kaur's on 7. He is a fantastic player as well. So that is not the end of the world. We can definitely get over that. Because Best is on 7. Ronaldo, uh, 10, sorry. Ronaldo's on 10. Henri's on 10. Everyone else, apart from our left back, who I'm going to put Mendy in. I've decided one of my subs is going to be Mendy. Um, as crazy as that sounds, I think I'm going to sub Mendy in. Uh, can Foden help us out in any way, shape or form? He can't at all, so Foden can stay out. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to sub probably Mbappe, Royce or Messi as the other two. But I think I'm going to put Mendy at left back and kind of go from there. Um, 188 is a rating I seem to love. I cannot get away from it. Can we make this a 189? I mean, we've got nine. Look, yeah, there we go. I can finally get away from the 188. We've got a 189 squad rating. Add a manager. Uh, Premier League one would be ideal. We don't get one. Uh, Brazilian obviously puts them two up, but Dalo, uh, Dalo, but Dalba is coming off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the Brazilian to put Fred up. But Dalbert's coming straight off. This is the team. It's a 189, as I said. Let's go into game number one. Let's win game number one. Not the most ideal end to foot drafts for the week. But also, question, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you want me to do Draft of Glories during the weekend? There might be uh, late evening uploads, depending on what videos we've got to go out at the weekend. But would you like me to do them Saturday and Sunday as well? Let me know in the comment section. But um, this felt like a foot champs game. It really did. It really, really did. Um, this guy had a fantastic team as well. Much, much better team than me. But... I knew what type of game this was going to be. I lost them penalties if you guys didn't see that. But I knew what type of game this was going to be when Thierry Henry is missing this for me. I, I, like, he has to be scoring that. And then he's scoring goals like this, where he is literally just blasting down the wing, crosses it into Neymar, who finishes it like he's CR7. I mean, Neymar should be scoring that, don't get me wrong, because it's a fairly simple header. But when Henry's missing chances like that, but Neymar with like 65 heading accuracy is finishing that. It's kind of annoying, you know? It's really, really annoying. And then uh, he he did win on penalties, uh, as we can see here. And I, I hate penalties on this game. And of course, he goes down the middle. He's the type of guy that went down the middle a lot uh, because obviously you've got to dive in this game because of the head movement and all of that. Penalties need to be looked at massively. Absolutely need to be looked at. But hey... It was a foot champs game. He was a good player. He had an unbelievable team. Uh, he brought on in form Neymar and OR to replace Gundogan and Fabregas, who he started the game with. But he's got team of the year Ronaldo. Uh, he also bought Suso on the end of the game for Optimus Prime Del Piero. But he had team of the year Ronaldo, Optimus Prime Del Piero, Optimus Prime uh, Best. He then had Optimus Prime Moore, Alderweireld, who was a rock for him somehow, uh, UCL Aurier and in form. Robertson and team of the year Kante as well. He had a great team. He was a good player and I'm not too upset about losing but I feel like I could have won the game or potentially should have won the game and he probably feels the same as well. So hey, it is it is one of them. You, you win some, you lose some and that one, hey, he was a good player, good team, you lose some, you know. 
and we move on. We do get a silver pack though, which we, as you guys know, we could get something relatively good from or something which we can sell. Maybe. I mean, he, I, I, I don't know why I watched that open as if we were going to get a silver on the front that's like, yeah, he's tons of coins. Um, I mean, it, he goes for a thousand. This guy looks like he goes for about a thousand as well. 800 there we saw. That guy seems to sell. This guy doesn't. Right now, that guy doesn't right now. Not right now. And to be fair, I don't know why I'm looking at these. I know German and Nor Norwegians aren't needed right now for anything. We do get squad fitness as well, which obviously we can sell. So uh, send all of that to the club. Uh, two gold packs to open. The chances of a walkout are slim, but you never know. You've got to be in it to win it. It's not a board. I'm going to skip it because I'm not going to waste your guys' time just seeing what is Ladero. Yeah, Ladero. Um, send them to the club. And final gold pack. Again, final chance of a walkout. Not likely, but it could happen. It's not happening. It's not a board. It's not a board. And it is English striker, which means it's nothing good. <laughs> Unless it's Harry Kane, it's nothing good when you see those signs. Antonio, again, Sorry to West Ham fans, but he's woeful on game and in real life. Anyway, that is where we're going to wrap it up for the week or potentially for the week. Depends how you guys uh, say in the comment section. I might record one Saturday morning for Saturday evening if a lot of you guys say, yeah, we want weekend draft glory. So let me know down below and if you want it, I'll get it done. Uh, make sure you do follow the social medias as well. Make sure you smash a like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe and join the Wolfpack. Make sure you do about 150 things I'm asking you to do. But it's been your boy Maverick and until next time, I am out. <laughs>